Welcome to clickmyproject.com. Let's discuss on the title Tag Sense Leveraging Smartphone for Automatic Image Tagging. Automatic image tagging has been a long standing problem. While the fields of image processing and face recognition have made significant progress, it remains difficult to automatically label a given picture. However, digital pictures and videos are undergoing an explosion, especially with the proliferation of high quality digital camera embedded in mobile devices. As these pictures get stored in online content warehouses, the need to search and browse them is becoming crucial. Furthermore, growing sophistication in te- textual search is raising the expectation from the image retrieval users for expecting to search for pictures as they do for textual content. This paper breaks away from established approaches to image tagging and explores an alternative architecture rooted in multi-dimensional out-of-box sensing. The goal of this paper is to address the challenges which is envisioning an alternative out-of-band opportunity towards automatic image tagging and designing a tag sense that is a system for coordinating the mobile phone sensor and processing the sense information to tag the images. So related to the scope of the tag sense, it is the first step and certainly not a complete solution for image tagging. Images of objects, for example, bicycle furniture, painting, animals or people without phones cannot be recognized. Put differently, tag sense requires the content in the pictures to have an electronic footprint that can be captured over at least one of the sensing dimension. If the objects do not present such footprints, one has to rely on visual domain alone for detecting them. Arguably, one may envision RFID on bicycle, furniture, painting, even pet animals in future. If feature cameras come equipped with RFID readers, the tag sense will immediately be able to tag each picture based on objects in it. However, without RFID readers on today's phone, tag sense narrows down the focus to identify the individuals in a picture and their basic activities. Now let's have the discussion on the data flow diagram. Regarding the data flow diagram, take the initial photographs that are taken by the user and subjected to Vira Jones face detection algorithm and detect the face region alone and train that inside a database. And then the same photograph is subjected to foreground and background separation in order to determine the objects out of the background. This will enable you to determine the environment. It's the same way as you detected the face, you detect the environment and subject it for training and you store it in the database. So in the testing part, automatic tagging of the photograph will be done. Depending upon the database information, a classifier is implemented to classify both the uh, environment and to recognize the detected faces. Now let's have the look on the execution of the program. In order to execute the file, select main file and press run file. You will receive a dialog box, select the test image from this folder and press open. The results of the face detected will be displayed here. The box indicates the ID of each person called as tagging. So in in order to view the results stepwise, this is the input image what we gave and this is the detected faces. We have to detect the ID of this face. So extract the face alone. This is the detected face done using Viola Jones algorithm. And this is the background region subtracted using background subtraction. And final is the background and foreground determination. Here this area is called as seashore area. And these are the detected ID of the person. Now You can also see the detected faces and their IDs in figure number 2 and figure number 5. Mobile phones are becoming inseparable from human in that replacing traditional cameras. Tag sense leveraging tends automatical tagging picture with people and their activities. We have developed three different methods based upon posing, compass and movement to identify the people in the picture. Our experiments show that this method has somewhat lower precision and comparable fallout but significantly higher recall than any other methods. Thank you.